Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and today's application is mobile hidden camera. Now what mobile hidden camera does, it allows you to take pictures or photographs on your Android phone without anybody knowing that you're filming them. Now the sweet thing about this is that the, the, there's a free version and there's a, there's a uh, I guess a pro and then whatever, uh, another pro version. Get into the, in, into that in a little bit uh, later. However, the free version is very good. I do highly recommend you guys just putting it on your phone. Now, as you can see right over here, this is what the icon looks like. It looks like a little blue little notebook. Um, but when you do install it, they do rename the application to Simple Note, and it's a little hard. If, okay, it's focusing. So it's not even going to say hidden camera on the application. You, you have to look under S under your applications and look for it. I do highly recommend that you do make a shortcut on your home page or one of your other pages to uh, uh, simply find it very fast. Because you never know when somebody's doing something illegal and you don't want them to know that you're filming it. And if you can catch some somebody doing something illegally, you know, and still be able to film it without them knowing about it, you know, you can show that to the cops, show that to a judge or whatever, you know, and you can make sure that justice is served because there's a lot of bad things out there and it's always good to have, you know, something that you can use to fight crime. So here we go, we're going to start up the application. Uh, let me just go into Y Upgrade and we'll go into Dolphin. In case you guys don't know, the browser that I love on Android is the Dolphin browser. Okay, so I'm going to go into, okay, they have Standard Pro and then um, premium so I probably um, go for the premium one just get all this it's probably like a buck more not really a big deal but as you can see there's tons of features you know you know how it handles files and a bunch of other features so I'm not going to go through them all but I mean just check it out I mean even if you don't want to get the, one of the paid versions get the free version at least so now I'm going to give you guys a tip uh, now this tip is going to um, be deter you know to be a little bit more of a better tip depending on what type of Android phone you have. Right here I have an HT Droid Incredible that uses the AMOLED screen. And it's the screen from Samsung. Samsung just calls it Super AMOLED. It's the same AMOLED screen. It's made by Samsung. AMOLED screens have a darker black. So um, when I go into display and I want to go into um, brightness. Um, it's always a good idea, you know, just for to have something on the fly to help you out, you know, to be more uh, discreet. Have checked automatic brightness. So if you're in a place where it's kind of like, you know, not that bright, if what's the Android, the Android phones, what we'll do is they'll try to determine the brightness um, of the situation of the room and then determine, determine how bright the screen should be. Now, I don't know if there's a sensor in front of the camera, if it uses the, the back camera, however it tells, but you don't want to have a bright black screen, okay? That's um, kind of a, you know, I don't think anybody would say anything, I don't think anybody would pick up on it, but, you, you know, you want to be as discreet as possible. Now, the good thing about the Super AMOLED screen is it has the darkest blacks of all the blacks um, from, you know, w, uh, WVGA, you know, LED and all these other types of screens that are um, that are out there. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. And I'm going to go back into video mode. And yeah, you can just disable the um, tutorial. Now I'm looking at this screen, and I can I can tell it's on. I'm just like looking at it for a second. You can tell that it's on not really a big deal um, you know not really that big of a deal somebody would say say anything I don't think anybody would anyway but you know somebody would really have to be know, know something uh, which um, but if you get the pro version it will completely turn off your screen because I have the um, if some of you guys have been following my channel I also have a Droid X and the Droid X um, has a WVGA screen, and that screen, when the screen is black, um, it's a much brighter. Still, there's still light coming out of the screen, even though it's black. The uh, uh, AMOLED screens have a much darker black, so it's a little easier to 
um, be more discreet about it. So that's my tip is always have, once again, go into settings, go into display, go into brightness. And you want to have uh, checked automatic brightness. Okay. So once again, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave um, the link to AppBrain. You know, if you're on the computer, you just want to check it out real quick. Click, I uh, click it. Click on the link in the description box below, and I'll bring you to the uh, link over at AppBrain to check it out. If you guys want to just like install it, you know, whatever, uh, type in mobile hidden camera. You guys can install it. Just remember when you do install it that it's going to be renamed into Simple Notes. Um, so I didn't read the, you know, the description, so I was like looking for it. where the hell is it and. And you know, and what I what I did was I came over here like an idiot, and I tell you, um, let me just go over here. I'll go to market. Um, come on, load. And maybe it's, I was looking for this icon right here. Looks like a person behind a moon or whatever on fire. So it's a really also, and you know, another tip is if you want to have it automatically update. Check on that, and when they have updates, you'll just get them automatically. So once again, guys, if this video has helped you, please hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you can help me out a little bit, um, please uh, give me a, a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that as well. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to help any one of you guys out. And if you want to help me out a little more with this video, and you like this video, whatever, uh, you can uh, actually favorite it down below. So once again, guys, this has been mp4podcast.com signing out. Take care. Bye.